Shashank, how many hours did you used to code when you were in your NIT during those when you were preparing? Yeah, so I started the coding part like in as I said in first year I was just uh, learning the things I was uh, making me strong in this zone like mm-hmm. making fundamentals and basics strong first. So like my, in my first year I focused on my basics and fundamentals. And I started for this coding part in my second year. Like uh, there was a platform Geeks for Geeks that is really handy and really good right. for every beginner or college student to learn about problem solving, to prepare about different companies. So that is a really good platform. So I started looking at that. I started. Uh, I started from the basic. Like I, I didn't uh, do that thing. Like uh, you know array. And I know tree, I know graph, so I will start solving question from graph. No, I didn't did that, uh, do that, right? What I did, I started from array, I started its basic questions, then medium level questions, then its advanced version. You're right. And what, like, I was reading that question and I was trying to solve it first by my own, right? I was writing code on pen using this pen paper, was trying to write my own approach. And okay. then I was cross checking it with their solution, like, uh, to make sure how far uh, I am uh, or how close I am to this uh, like, most optimized approach. How, how much that optimized point, your solution is? Yeah. yeah. So that that was the thing I followed, and uh, in parallel, when I was comfortable with this uh, platform or solved like many questions, more than like five six hundred questions of different data structures and algorithms related, then I jumped on to this competitive programming like uh, solve. Uh, these uh, challenges on hacker rank attended right. some competitions on spot some competitions on uh, geeks for geeks self code chef so i did that as well but i i won't say that i was a typical competitive programmer guy i was right. kind of guy who was much more focused for this basics and fundamentals uh, because when i was involved with those competitions or programming platforms so I, what I felt, since my basics and fundamentals were strong, I was able to think. I yes. was able to solve questions. Maybe uh, like not a very optimized one, but I was able to think of a proper approach. So right. that zone I have focused a lot. So.